in the event you've never seen Benabel win online, she's done a lot. She's done a hell of a lot in terms of uh, if you think of you know what people call the tarot community online, she has uh, contributed quite a bit, and she's knocked out her own decks. She's created some cool artwork. Um, I do take some issues as I often do with most people. Um, I'm going to point one out here in a second. Uh, she and her husband also, she has a lot of people following her account and sometimes she'll post family related stuff. Uh, and her and her husband, they were promoting aspects of, you know, the enduring agenda related to 2020 in the present, which I'm not allowed to talk about because our masters control all of these social engineering platforms, the browsers, anything you could possibly think of, because this is all connected to the DARPA internet and it's not for the people by the people. <laughs> Fucking disclaimer statements for retards. In case you didn't understand or know any of those things, perhaps you should look into them. But yeah, she promoted some of that shit, and I called her out for it, and she didn't block me. I've also pointed out other people who have blocked me just for pointing out that they have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> Case in point, uh, what's her name? I left a video on there recently, and she's just one of many that I'm thinking of. Alia's Herbals. I still respect what she and her husband get up to online, but she did block me when I pointed out that she doesn't understand a fucking thing, and what she's talking about is a bunch of superficial garbage, and she also has a lot of people following her. This is also probably why both of these accounts are promoted by the algorithm, by, by the way, in case you struggle at connecting dots. Um... Yes, I'm talking down to the people who might see this video because most people need to be reminded of shit like that. Why would I say something like that? Because I have to tell myself shit like that often because that's how things are and we're constantly under attack and being dumbed down. What I just said is fucking relevant. So back to point. She just left this online. This is the Hierophant card. This is the fifth card. This card typically relates to the church as well as the, the nature of man. Would you agree that you have two arms, two legs, and one head? You're a five-petal form. Yeah? That's also how it relates to this. So what she shit out here is the Buddha. The Buddha exclusively does not describe man. That's bullshit right there. That's fucking bullshit. Um, and someone with eyes to see would take issue with that. Most people probably won't. Case in point, 350 people have clicked like on here. I'm one of them because I do like the artwork aspect of it. When I first looked at these, I thought back to uh, the earliest known tarot cards, things along those lines. Then I thought about the numerous times that uh, throughout the ages the tarot has been hijacked and altered in different ways, so to speak. It's one way to put it, at least. Um, and I was trying to picture down the line, if these cards existed, someone might stumble on these and wonder what the fuck they are. It's not unlike the wishy-washy, we have no fucking clue where tarot came from origins. Uh, I mean, I just started picturing somebody finding Master of the Arcanes, the Hierophant. And if they had nothing else to go by and they did know of what, you know, the Buddha stuff represents, superficially or otherwise, they would attribute it to this, because this is all they would have. I hope you parallel what I'm saying right now with the system of tarot in general. Um, I think I got something handy over here. Give me a second. Is this one of them? I flagged a couple different ones. Let me see if this is one of them. Yeah, that's one of them, but I don't think that's the one I was thinking of offhand. Uh, I was going to give you a quick rundown of something, but I don't really need to do that either. And waste more time and energy on videos that, let's see how many fucking people have watched. If more than 10 have watched more than three of the videos I recently uploaded. Whoops, other channel though, I bet you. Let's just see if somebody saw this fucking girl and her tits. One view, and that's probably me checking it. One more moment. So I left a lot of videos on this account today, so many that I reached my daily limit because I haven't verified the account because I frown on social credit slavery and anything that promotes, you know, the initial steps of that in terms of people buying into it and it being normalized. Um, so I'm not allowed to do things that other people who have jumped through our master's hoops are afforded. 
Now, I posted a bunch of shit on here. Some of them had zero views the last time I checked. I'm also having deja vu at this very moment, which I do a lot of fucking complaining, but this is an interesting little... Yeah, that was cool. Um, if more than 10 people have seen all three of those videos, just three of the ones that had zero earlier, I'll continue with this thought and teach you something. But I bet you they haven't. Zero views, zero views, zero views, zero views, zero views, zero views. Here's 15, four hours ago. Ooh. Oops, where am I at? Four hours ago, two, one, three, one. Supposedly there's 55 people in here. In the other account, I've got over 200. And people aren't watching the videos in there either. For the most part. Not based on how many people should be seeing these things. What the fuck do I know?